Give me about five minutes and I'm going to tell you three secret features that you get inside of the ChatGPT desktop app. Yes, there's capabilities inside of the app that you do not have if you are using ChatGPT on the web. All right, I'm excited to share these with you. Uh, so let's just quickly dive in and I'll tell you what this is all about. So if you are brand new here, my name is Jordan Wilson and I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI to grow their company and their career. So if that sounds like you, please subscribe to this channel. Let me know if this was helpful and what you want to see more of. All right, so let's just jump straight into the three things. Well, actually, before we do, uh, just know that these are uh, available for both free paid Teams Enterprise accounts. So uh, if you go into your chat GPT app here, um, I'm going to use this free account because uh, I don't want everyone to see uh, our clients that we have access to on their enterprise accounts. Uh, so you just click the download the Mac OS app. And again, this is only uh, the app is only for Mac, mainly because Windows and Microsoft has a key relationship with OpenAI and they're building this similar desktop technology uh, into their operating system. All right. So with that, let's just go over the three things. So number one, you kind of already see floating around here on my screen. So this is the companion app. So if I start a new chat, all right. So if I'm in a, a, a chat here, uh, let's go ahead. And if I click new chat, all right. Uh, and then I can click this little companion app up here in the right hand corner. Um, so the, it's a little finicky. So there's a setting that you have to check. So if I go up into chat GPT, you'll see it just disappeared, right? This is the one little bug. Um, so I actually need to first start a chat. Okay. Then this is, I, I just updated it. So I don't, hopefully this bug will be squashed and you won't have to deal with it. But then I just need to go up here uh, to the um, window, click window and click, then click bring all to front. So this actually used to be a setting inside of your preferences that's gone. And I found it a little finicky. So uh, to really use the companion app, it's a little annoying, uh, but you essentially just have to start a conversation, then just go up there, click window, bring all to front. But now here's what's really cool. I can have chat GPT follow me around, right? Which is I mean, for me, it's awesome. Uh, I have two big screens. I always want to have ChatGPT close. So now I can, you know, kind of uh, resize it, uh, kind of work with it wherever, right? Like I can uh, go like this. I can, you know, resize my screen. So essentially, I just always have the full power of ChatGPT and whatever I'm working on going on at the same time. Uh, another part of this companion app, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this here is the new shortcut launch key. All right, so if I click option shift, now you'll see that little thing right there. So now I can essentially launch or start a conversation with that shortcut key. Very cool as well. Let me show you one other cool functionality of, it's kind of the, not really the companion app, but kind of the launch too. Uh, so you can upload files, right? So uh, let's say I'm reading, uh, let me grab this blog post here. Oh, there we go, there it is. So now, I can just click command space bar. I can click the, uh, I know it's kind of small. It's kind of small. I can't really zoom in anymore. Uh, but if I click that command or sorry, the option space, and then I can go to take screenshot. So I can instantly take a screenshot of any of the apps, right? That I have open, uh, or any of the windows that I have open as well. Uh, I think also, let's see if I can do it here. You can also just start typing. So I can just start, start, start typing Chrome. Um, and then here's the different uh, things that I can screenshot immediately. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do this one. Uh, nope, that's not the one I wanted. Let's go ahead and do this one. So I'm going to say uh, take screenshot and I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to say explain this in one sentence. All right. So then what it does is it launches me into the full desktop mode. It automatically took a screenshot of that window I was on. I can talk with anything right away. Very cool. All right, so another uh, great thing, and I'm gonna go ahead again, click this companion button right here. All right, so you can also take a photo uh, right here. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go to take a photo. All right, so there we go. I've been having uh, problems with my router. Here's my super advanced green screen, y'all. Um, so I'm gonna go like this, see if I can get this the right, uh, there we go. All right. And I'm going to say, 
Sorry, I'm getting some permissions, even though I didn't get this uh, last time. So I'm going to say uh, my Wi-Fi has been finicky. Uh, please help me troubleshoot. I hate typing live because, uh, yeah, if, if, if you watch the channel, uh, you know I have like T-Rex arms right there uh, to get this shot. So, I mean, right away, you'll see some... This right there, this saved me a couple of minutes because normally what I have to do is, you know, as an example, I'm usually recording with my phone. So I'd have to take my phone down. I'd have to, you know, take a photo. I'd have to either email it to myself, uh, text it to myself, uh, usually convert it because, you know, sometimes iPhones give you a weird, uh, a weird file type and here, right there, bam, it's, it's right there. And I can go ahead, um, at any point, click this, and then it goes right into the context of the window. All right. Uh, that's number one. Number one was a lot. Don't worry. The other ones are quick. Number two is being able to search inside of your chats. This is huge. I like, this is so annoying for me inside of ChatGPT. So as an example, I have a, a common memory context uh, trick that I do to test the context window. And I use the word pizza, right? I can't click command F in pizza because that word is inside of the chat. This is huge y'all like i before the desktop app i would spend so much time trying to find certain apps so now i can just click pizza and you'll see it's not the name it's not the name of the chat it is searching inside right uh here i'm a dork i was ordering uh <laughs> i was ordering pizza and i was curious i'm like oh is this actually a better a better deal uh, you know, if you get a larger one, so I was breaking down uh, pizza by price per square inch. Yeah, I'm a dork, y'all. Uh, so, I mean, that's a great example of a very quick and easy way of you can search within the chats. But here's the actual uh, kind of chat I was actually talking about there, uh, testing the context window. All right, that's number two. Let's do number three. It is new multimodal capabilities that you do not have inside of ChatGPT. So as an example, I already did the one where I uploaded a photo. Uh, that is not an option inside of the web app. That is only desktop. And then the other one is the ability to use uh, the voice. Uh, so you do not have that in the... Uh, kind of web version, you do have that on the mobile version and you have it on the desktop version. All right, so you probably won't be able to hear this, but I'm gonna go ahead and try. So all I have to do is click this. Tell me about the Everyday AI podcast from Jordan Wilson. All right, so you probably won't be able to hear this. Um, and I actually think you might be able to hear it. So there you go. I mean, and then obviously whatever you use uh, inside of the voice mode, uh, the text of it does go into the, the transcript right there. So there you go, y'all. Three uh, time-saving things that I think are extremely useful. The companion app uh, and being able to launch it with a keyboard shortcut, uh, being able to search inside the context of your chats and those multimodal capabilities uh, that you do not have on the web app. All right, I hope that's, that was helpful. If so, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for our free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.